as a best practice of desktop flow development we need to apply a mechanism to handle the exceptions and recover from the unexpected circumstances and issues that might occur during the desktop flow run exception handling is usually implemented for developed flows after risk has been identified by testing all right now what kind of exceptions we can handle in this nse desktop flow one is action level exception handling now if you see there are different actions that we have one is get current date and time convert date time to text launch new chrome launch excel and after that you can find create folder and run javascript function on the web page these are many actions that we have used over here now if you get any kind of exceptions or errors at the level of action in that case how can we go ahead and handle it in our project for an example i am having launch new chrome where i am going to navigate to www.nsindia.com slash market data slash live equity market in some cases what will happen the page will take long longer time to load the data or due to internet issues or due to low bandwidth of the internet this will take a little bit long time so that it will get an error in a such a way that will be timeout error in such cases how can we go ahead and we can handle the exception over here at the action level now i will show you over here for the few actions that is launch new chrome as well as launch excel actions in the action level exception handling let me double click on the launch new chrome action and if you see in the launch new chrome we are having an option called on error what are the errors we are going to get it for the launch new chrome action we will handle over here on the on error option let's click on that on error now if you see over here where we can find all the rules and errors related over here for the particular action that is launch new chrome there if you see i'm having retry action if an error occurs how many times that you want to retry it we can enable this and after the, the number of times you can see over here one time and the intervals based on the intervals for every 360 seconds what is the range that you want to repeat it the same time over here but as of now i'm not going to use this i'm going for the advanced and if you see over here whenever the browser launch fail in that case if i want to add any exceptions and then at that time you are going to use fail to launch chrome and then you are going to add the rules over here so if you don't want to add any rules then you are directly going ahead and use throw error now if you want to add anything then you are going to continue flow run and then if you see over here exception handling mode over here whenever you are going to get it fail to launch chrome error so that you will say repeat the action or go to the next action or go to the label as of now i have not used any label across the entire desktop flow without the google chrome i can't go for the next step also to extract the data so that i will use repeat action whenever we are going to get an error like fail to launch chrome right and also if you see sometimes what will happen if you are going to give the invalid url in a such a case right now we have given www.nsindia.com slash the url if you are going to give the wrong url at that time if i want to show some kind of errors then in that case what i'm going to do i'm going to throw some error or what i have to do i have to go for the next level or i need to go to the next action so i'm going to throw an error in this case as invalid url so that i'm going to select throw error and then i'm going to click on save like as we have applied for the launch new chrome for the action level exception handling i'm going to use launch excel also that is action level exception handling for the launch excel action what kind of errors we can get it at the time of launch excel action let's double click on the launch excel action now once again we'll go for the on error in the launch excel let's click on that now here also we are having same kind of action level exception handling there is retry action if an error occurs or all errors or if you have any specific errors for the launch excel if you see under the advanced i am having failed to launch excel 
at the time of launching an excel or opening an excel if you got any error at the time what you have to do so i am going for fail to launch excel and then i am going for the continue to flow to run so what i am going to do if the excel launching is fail at the time i am going to repeat the same action n number of times until the excel will launches all right now if you see the second advance that we are having fail to open excel document in some cases if you are going to give the wrong path to open an excel at that time we are going to use the error handling that is fail to open excel at that time what i will give i will give the path out there right so that it will throw the error directly i'm not going to use continue to flow to run i'm simply going to use throw error all right let's click on save now this kind of exception handling we can give across the desktop flow for each and every action over here in a such a cases we can use for the run javascript function on the web page also sometimes the code will may fail at the time will throw an error over here also but right now i'm not going to use the exception handling like action level exception handling over here in the desktop flow right now we'll see the another level exception handling that is block level exception handling where exactly it can be used now if you observe we have used for each action now there are set of actions over here where once the flow is started executing from the current category item now if any one of the action is getting failed in this for each action the enter block has to be repeated or it has to throw an error at the time we are going to use block level exception handling this block level exception handling works similar to the try catch block that we find in another programming languages or like scopes inside the power automate api flows how can we go ahead and use that we are going to use the action called on block error under the flow control let me drag and drop this on block error action onto the workspace which handles the error i'm going to drag this action in inside for each action and now if you see on block error it marks the beginning of a block to handle the action errors right now what i'm going to do i'm going to give the parameters over here for the on block error the first parameter is the name what is the name that i can give it i'm going to say web underscore extract underscore data so we can't give the space over here between one word to another word or else it has to be a continuous way now if you see over here i am having no rules has been added so if you want to add any rules you can add from plus icon that is new rule or if you don't want to mention any rules then you are going to throw a error directly or if you want to continue the flow with some specific values then you can see over here i am going to use exception handling mode like go to next action repeat action go to label go to beginning of the block go to the end of the block so if i'm going to use this go to the next action there you can see i want to set the drop down list value then only i can get the data right i can't go for the go to next action or repeat action i can't repeat it until the data is continuously it will goes to the infinite loop over here now go to the loop we can come back to that or go to the beginning of the block so in our block we are having only five actions that is set to drop down list value wait for web page content extract data from web page write to excel worksheet and save excel right if i go ahead and again i want to repeat the same kind of actions then i am going to use go to the beginning of the block or else i can go to the end of the block so without extracting the data i can't go for the end of the block right i am going to use go to label but i don't have any labels right now so what i will do i am going to drag one label over here let me drag and drop this label onto the workspace which acts as the destination of go to statement all right let me drag and drop inside the for each as the last action in the for each action now if you see the parameters over here i am having label name i am going to give the name as end underscore for each item for each underscore item and then i'm going to click on save now once again i'm going to use on block error let me drag and drop this action inside the for each action 
Now I'm going to give the name of the on block error action as web underscore extract underscore data. And then as we have seen, I'm going to select continue flow to flow run. And then I'm going to use go to label. Now we have already defined a label over here that is label with the name of end underscore for each underscore item. I'm going to select the label over here as the same one that is end underscore for each underscore item. All right. And then I'm going to click on save. Now the actions that is set drop down list value on the web page, wait for web page content, extract data from the web page. And after that, write to Excel worksheet and save Excel. These five actions I'm going to use inside the on block error that is web underscore extract underscore data. If you got any error in this particular block, what will happen? It, it will go to the label and then it will the, repeat the entire process for each item in the text list as the category item. All right. Now, if you see over here in this desktop flow, we have used action level exception handling and also block level exception handling we have used that is on block error action. 